guys welcome back to my channel it's me cat and today i just wanted to play with some color pop makeup um i have the um frozen collection i bought it wasn't a big collection um i didn't get the lip products but i got the two um glitterly obsessed there's the Anna collection and the um the Anna and Elsa collection so the blue is the Elsa and the um purple pinky color is the Anna collection so there are two glitterly obsessed um the Anna one is waterfall which is a yellow gold glitter do a little swatch of it these are not eye safe if you do wear them on the eye i would not put them like right here i would put them on the brow bone because you do have like big chunks of glitter on them so this is a waterfall it's like a yellow gold it's um like a yellow gold color and it's got a iridescent shift to it so that is waterfall i will try these on in a second uh where is okay sorry just looking for my cloth to wipe my fingers off on and then the one from the elsa collection is the dark sea and this is a white iridescent color and again these have a weird smell this is an iridescent glitter and it's got like the big chunks of glitter and the small chunks of glitter so that is water what was it again? The Dark Sea. I was about to say Waterfall. But it's the Dark Sea. So those are the two Glitterly Obsessed. I mean, they're basically just different colors, but the same kind of uh, formula where it's small, like micro fine glitter small chunks of glitter and then big chunks of glitter so you got like three different glitter sizes in there so those are pretty um not everyone's cup of tea i do realize and then in the palettes these are nine pan palettes and this is the frozen two box this is the elsa one and then on the back it has the names and i kind of like the artwork from the box better than what's on the palette you have the artwork from the movie so you have elsa on the front that's kind of creepy how when i'm moving it the eyes are um blanking out <laughs> And then this is the Anna one in the kind of purplish pink box. And then you have her on the front. And then the insides, you get a mirror in the palette. And then you have the nine shades. This comes with a glitter, pressed glitter in it. And this is a yellow gold glitter. It's um called... I hate the way the script is. I think it's Ari. I can't. All right. I think it says Ariel, Arabel, Arabel. I'll leave the name down below. The script is kind of hard to read. Okay, so this is a smaller glitter this one you could use on the eye so this is the glitter that comes in the anna palette and then in the elsa palette you also get a pressed glitter this is what the palette looks like and this is flurry is the name of the pressed glitter in this it is a white iridescent glitter 
and again it is smaller particles of glitter so that is flurry it has that iridescent sheen to it and then that is the one from the anna palette so the ones from the Elsa palette have the iridescentness to it, and the ones from the Anna palette have the yellow gold to it. And now I'll swatch the rest of them, and I'll do one palette on one eye and the other palette on the other eye. So, okay, this is... Gooch in Wind and Earth are the first three colors. So we have an iridescent, we have a duochrome, we have like a kind of mustardy brown color, and then a yellow gold. So Yellow gold is earth, that is wind, and then scooch in. It's a white-based, like, peach-colored peach duochrome. That is pretty. And then the second row, um, I swatched the glitter, so we have Adventure and Autumn Breeze. Is that adrenaline? R E N B E L L E. I don't, that doesn't sound like a word, but adventure and autumn breeze. So, autumn breeze is a deep plum mat. And then Adventure is a Plum Shimmer. So those are the two in the second row besides the Glitter. And then we have the third row, which is Warm Hugs, which is a matte with um, Sparkle. Then Fearless, which is a matte. And Charades, which is a matte also so charades is a cocoa brown matte um fearless is a kind of terracotta um matte and then we have a mauve with um gold um reflex in it which is warm hugs so warm hugs uh Fearless, and Charades. So that is the Anna palette. So it's kind of like a purpley neutral palette with a pop of like gold in it. Okay, so now let's swatch the Elsa palette. Okay, so Cuddle Close Fire Northern Lights is the first row. We have another white-based duochrome. Then we have a cool tone brown and Northern Lights, which looks like a really pretty color also. So, yeah, that's a pink. It's a white-based pink duochrome. That looked pretty on my finger, but didn't swatch very well. So let's do another swatcheroo of it. That's why it didn't swatch very well, because I used a different finger. It is a duochrome also. It's a pink with a silver, sh blue or silver shift. It is very pretty. So that is Northern Lights. That is... Fire and Cuddle Close, so Fire, Cuddle Close, that is a white-based pink duochrome, that is a light kind of mauve matte, and then we have Northern Lights, which is also really pretty. Okay, that's the first row, then the second row, 
we have gale and water so gale water and then the glitter is also on that row so i already swatched the glitter so water is a white a blue matte and gale is a mauve an interesting color it's like a mauve with a silver reflect and then that's water that kind of corn flower blue color and then the last row we have awake awakened ice crystals and spirit been, I, gosh, I can't read that. Spine lift, S P I N L I F T. I don't think that's right. Um, yeah, it's a matte burgundy. Then we have a burgundy with um silver reflex and a silver metallic it looks like poet kind of from tati uh the poet shade from tati's palette it kind of reminds me of that that's really pretty Ooh, that's a nice deep burgundy matte too and then let's put the Ooh. So that is the last row. That is the one that I can't read it. That is the color Awakened. And then Ice Crystals is that silver metallic color. So those are very pretty. I am going to try those glitters on and then I will go off camera prime my eyes and we will do two looks so let me try these glitterly obsessed on okay we'll start with the gold they have, oh, they have a weird smell <laughs> And they didn't go bad. They've always kind of had that awkward off smell. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that on the high point of my cheek. This takes me back to being in high school when I would wear glitter as a highlight before I knew what highlighter was. So... I just put it on the high points and up here. You would see it more, I think, if, like, I was in the sun. But it definitely... It's definitely there. <laughs> Sometimes the camera is weird and doesn't pick up things exactly how they look which sucks, or you need a really expensive camera for, um, to show off, like, the real intricacies of, and lighting of, like, duochromes and iridescent colors. All right, now we're gonna try the iridescent Glitterly Obsessed. This is Dark Waters. Okay, got some on the finger, and we'll just go right on the high point, and then up here. Ooh, I really like the iridescent one. It goes with the iridescent highlight I'm wearing. I'm wearing uh, the confetti matchstick from... Fenty. I got it in my boxy charm. Okay, I 
Yeah, this one, you can, it's kind of subtle too. It blends in a little more with what my highlight is. You can see it better up here. Oh, down here you can see it a little too. So those are the Glitterly Obsessed. Again, if you're not into glitter, you're not going to like these, but I love glitter and anything shiny, um, so I dig them. All right, they pass. Okay, I will go prime my eyes. I will be right back, and we will do the two looks. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back with one of my eyes primed, and we are going to start off with the... Anna palette and I am going to go in with the color Autumn Breeze. I'm going to go in with that deep plum color and pop that into the crease. So let me get a brush to do that. My brush holder was not giving up my brush. Okay, so plop, tap that off. And let's just go into the crease. And okay, very nice, nice and pigmented. And blends out well, but I'm not shocked because I like ColourPop's quality. They make really good, affordable makeup. So, uh, not much going on here. How are you guys doing? Are you going crazy yet or keeping yourselves busy it's so weird seeing the city so dead and now the buses the public buses are um what they're doing is i think i mentioned this in another video that like the front of the bus is like three seats that are against the bus and those kind of lift up for um, handicapped people so they can put a wheelchair there they have that blocked off and then the back of the bus is like all seats that face forward so you can't go near the bus driver and you can't at least the fares are free and now the mta clerks aren't uh, taking money from you which is fine it's just annoying because the um token machine only gives coins back <laughs> but at least they give dollar coins but is what it is so odd but oh my gosh i'm just thinking about like when all of the places are, like, the restaurants and bars are allowed to open. People are going to be going crazy. It's, like, going to be spring break for adults. <laughs> or for, um, non-college age kids, because spring break is usually, well, it's young adults. It's, like, 19 20, 21 year olds. So, yeah, it's crazy. And, uh, I, I keep on getting all these, um, every website it seems like is having a sale because they want you to just online shop to you drop. I've been good so far, but I might cave and make a few purchases. Okay. 
This blends out nicely. It is a purple, so it can be on the patchy side. It's not horrible, and it you can build up the color, so it's workable. It's not a horrible purple. See, Urban Decay, if ColourPop can make a bomb purple that doesn't blend away, you can do it. I'm still, like, that Wired palette still has me confused. Okay. We are blended, and I hate when lipstick gathers in the corner like that. Alright, we are blended. Let me just... Just want to bring it up a little bit. Okay. Just take a little bit and put it on here. Okay, there we go. And I don't want to bring it out too much, but just a little bit. Just blend it out. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I'm matching my hair. So that looks really pretty. I like the way it gr blended out into that grape purple color. Now I'm going to take... Let me clean my brush off. Okay, now I'm going to take the color Warm Hugs. I'm going to take that color and let me actually take a smaller, a smaller crease brush. Okay. And we're going to go in with Free Hugs. I guess it's one of the, it's a sequin color as Tati would call it, or is that just going to... I think that's just going to blend in. Uh, that really didn't do anything. Hmm. Okay, then. Plan B. I'm going to darken that up a little, then. I had a vision and it didn't work out. <laughs> Not the end of the world, though. Okay, I just wanted to darken that up a little. Okay, just wanted to darken that up a scotch. Okay, then I'm going to go on the lid with that adventure color. Oh, okay, Miss Delphine, she's not impressed. My cat's like, why are you paying attention to makeup and not me? Our cats are just oblivious to what's going on, and I'm jealous of them sometimes. Okay. As usual, it's a nice shimmer from ColourPop. ColourPop shimmers are nice. They build up. They're opaque. They have nice shine. You don't have to wet them. 
They're not sheer. They build up nicely. I really don't have any complaints about the quality of ColourPop's shadows. They definitely are the uh, fast fashion of makeup, the way they pump products out, but hey, if they can do it because they have a lab on premise, more power to them. Okay. Okay, so that is what we have going on so far. Next, I'm going to take... I'm going to take that gold um, glitter. And I am going to put it on the front part of the eye. I'm not going to do the whole eye with glitter. I'm just going to go on the front of the eye and feather it out. Ooh, that is very, very shiny. I do like ColourPop's pressed glitters also. I do find that they don't need a glitter glue and they stay put all day long. And it doesn't really fall onto your face so you're not left with like a bukkake of glitter on your face. Okay, so I have the yellow glitter just on the front part of the eye. Then I'm going to go in... I'm going to go in with the color Earth, that gold metallic color. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. I'll grab another little brush. And then just go right on the inner corner. And when you do glitter on your eyes with this, you want to remove it with tape so you don't risk getting any particles of glitter in your eye when you're taking your makeup off and you won't you'll have less of a chance of scratching anything because that's the dangers of using glitter even if it's a cosmetics glitter it can still do some damage to your eye okay so we have that as the inner corner very pretty then I'm going to take that color Scooch In, that duochrome. That's going to be the brow bone color. Ooh, that is pretty. I love a good duochrome. All right, we've got our brow bone going on. That is very, very pretty. Then on the lower lash line, we are going to go in with 
let's take that warm hugs color and do that on the lower lash that's very pretty Alrighty, that is my contact dried out because I got some powder in it, but that is look number one. I think that's very pretty. It's a little neutrally and smoky at the same time. I do like that they kind of put like some smoky colors and some neutral colors in here so you can get a bunch of different looks. So that is the Anna palette. I'm going to go off camera, prime this eye, and we will come back and, oops, I got a little fuzzball hanging out in my hair. Uh, I will come back and we will do the Elsa palette, and yeah, I will be right back, guys, and we will do look number, well, the second look from the second palette, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back with my second eye primed, and I am ready to do a look from the, um, the, uh, Elsa palette. Okay. I am going to go in with the color... I'm going to go in with this deep wine color. Okay. I'm going to go in with that. And then that one has a little bit of kick up. But. Again, I don't care about that. I'd rather have it in the pan than on my face. But I know some people do care about it, so if you do care, now you know. Okay. Let's see, just want to blend out. Blendy, blendy. These are blending out nicely. Oh, me and Desiree are going to do a really fun collab video the first weekend of March. I think you guys will find it really cool. We did, we both picked a look for the other person to do and we're going to recreate it and I think it's going to be a really cool video. And I really liked the look that Desiree picked for me and I can't wait to see um her do what i picked out for her i'm not gonna give the surprise away you have to watch her video but yeah i think it's gonna be a really cool video once we're done with it okay i have 
ooh, that blended out really nicely. I blended out this deep cranberry burgundy color and it actually blended out into this really nice purple color. Yes, I want it really diffused and blended. Okay, we've got that. Actually, just want to go in a little bit right here. I always feel like I never bring it up high enough just right here. But everywhere else it goes up right it goes up to like the right spot where I want it to. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the color Awkward. I'm going to go in with the Awkward color. And I'm going to pack that on. I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush too. And that we're not going to do a lot of blending with because it has that shimmer in it. I'm just going to use it to go right in the crease area. Oh, that's really pretty. Just deepen that up. And add a little sparkle, sparkle. That is really pretty. <sighs> That's what I was trying to do on the other side. But it didn't quite work. Because I didn't think it would work if I put like a mustardy color underneath it. It might have. But the execution didn't quite work on the other eye, but hey, at least it's working on this eye. Okay. Just pat that out a little, make sure the line isn't harsh. And then just blend the end. Okay, that is very pretty. You can't... Okay, you can kind of see the sparkle. So, it's very subtle, but you can see it. In person, you can see it more, but it is... A, I like that effect. A lot of people I know aren't really into the mattes with the glitter in it, but if you do it right like this, it looks really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to take the color, I'm going to take the color Gale, and I'm just going to put it right on the center of the lid. So I just need a flat, small brush. Uh, this should do it. Okay. So we'll take that Gale color. And just go right in the center of the lid. I like the shimmers in this palette. They're very unique shimmers. And see, that's another why, reason why ColourPop is so awesome. Even though they do, like, affordable makeup, they do try and do, like, you know, fun duochromes and bright, you know, pigments and stuff. They don't just stick with, although some of their palettes are just, like, neutral repeats. So, I do like that about ColourPop, that they don't just play it safe. They do put 
put in fun finishes and colors. And they keep the price affordable. Okay, so I have that Gale shade on the center. Let me just go over it one more time, see if it... See, it's one of those colors in person. It's there on camera. It's not really... It's kind of reading, but not really. But it, it is there in person. Um, okay, now I'm going to go on the outer edges. Let me clean that brush off. I'm going to go in the outer... Like, I'm going to do a halo eye. So this, <clears throat> this and this is going to be be that Northern Lights color. So let's go on the outer half. Okay, I'm not finished with the center. I'm gonna okay, and just go on the front half. Again, it looks like I'm not really putting shadow on, but I am. It's definitely there. Okay. And then, let me just go back in. And just do this once more. I don't want to spray it because it is showing up. It's just one of those colors that on camera doesn't show how great of a shade it really is. Okay, so I put that Northern Lights color on the inner and outer and then in the center again. I'm going to take that pressed glitter flurry color. We're going to take that. And pop that on the center of the lid also. Give that a little texture. Also kind of be able to different, tell the difference. Differentiate. I think I said it right. <laughs> so I can tell the difference since these both are kind of high shine duochromes. So let's take the glitter and use that as another mark. Okay. Again, you can't see, like, the full awesomeness of this look, which really is annoying. Okay, then I'm going to take the color Cuddle Close, that duochrome color. That's going on the brow bone. Let's take Cuddle Close. And you go on the brow bone. Nice little brow bone highlight. Okay. So we've got that as a nice little brow bone highlight. Then on the inner corner, 
I am going to take that bright silver uh, ice crystals, clean my brush off, so that's going to go on the do that as an inner corner highlight. Ooh, that is bright. Okay, we've got, ooh, we've got that ice crystal colors as a inner corner highlight. And on the bottom lash, lower lash line, I am going to go in with that matte blue color water. That color right there is going to go on the lower lash line. Okay. Kind of wish they had put another blue in instead of that brown. But hey, some people think they need a brown in every palette. You don't need a brown in every palette. Okay, so that is the finished look. So this is the look from the Elsa palette. I wish you guys could see like how awesome these duochromes are really looking in real life because it looks pretty on screen, but you don't get like the full effect of how like pretty and shiny and the different colors that and shifts this has so this looks pretty but in person it looks even prettier and this looks really awesome too i like the gold and the plums and it's kind of a like smokyish look so those are the two palettes just wanted to play with them and do some looks so yeah those are the palettes, and I like the glitter. Again, if you're not into chunky monkey glitter, you probably won't like this. But I just, yeah, I wanted to have fun, play with some glitter, and play with some ColourPop, because I have a ton of ColourPop I've been wanting to play with. So that is the look I did with the two palettes. Um, did you pick up this collection? Um, or what's your favorite ColourPop um, collection or shadows that you own? I did pick up some of the Sailor Moon collection. I want to get the whole collection before I do a look with it. Because I did, I was able to grab some of it when it went to Ulta. So hopefully it restocks again soon. And when I have the whole collection, I will do a look and try on swatches, all that good stuff of the Sailor Moon collection. But that is the video for tonight. Uh, let me know uh, any, yeah, let me know how you guys are feeling. Um, what have you guys been doing uh, since you're stuck in the house? Let me know in the comments down below and I will be back with another video very soon and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night guys. Bye.